Hello you guys, welcome back. I'm coming at you from Boston, Massachusetts. So as you guys might know if you watched my last vlog, I am currently in Boston for a business trip and I wanted to take you guys along with me. I just got to my hotel room and did my makeup because I didn't want to wear any makeup on the plane so I knew I was going to do it when I got here. So I just finished that up. I still need to do my hair but I just wanted to start off the vlog. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already and turn my post notifications on so that you never miss when I post a new video. So I just got in and I have been up since 4.45 this morning. I had a 7.30 a.m. flight. It's now about 12.30, I think. Yeah, 12.30. Um, I've only eaten like a RX bar and some fruit today, so I really wanna get some lunch. Um, I'm still trying to kind of figure out the area that I'm in but I'll show you guys my hotel room. I think that I got a handicapped hotel room um, because I did early check-in and this is probably all that they had available, which is fine by me. I just walked in here and I was just like, holy crap, it is huge in here. So this is my room. This is what I mean by it is absolutely a giant. Um, this is the bed set up and then I have my bathroom in here. I was just getting ready so the counter is kind of already a mess, but I am so excited to be here. Sorry, it's kind of echoey in here. Um, we have a event to go to tonight. Then we have a event tomorrow and a event slash dinner tomorrow night that I planned. So I'm really excited. It's a very like high end event that I have been planning for months. So I'm super excited to be here and be able to actually attend it. So I am still like working computer wise um, while I'm here. The lighting is so weird because it's so bright by this window. No, um but I'm I've pretty much done like everything work wise on the computer that I can um, I did Monday and Tuesday today's a Wednesday and I'll be here till Friday morning so then um, I don't have to do as much like computer work today and tomorrow um, and then I'll catch up before the end of the week on Friday so that I can really focus on like my events and in-person stuff while I'm here so that's really exciting but I do have a few more things that I wanted to do and then I need to call the guy that I'm working with here just to um, he lives here and he's the one that I planned the event for so I just need to like kind of get an idea of what's going on with that so that I know if I can leave and get lunch or if he is planning to have a car um, sent to me to take me elsewhere I kind of don't know what the plan is um, as of right now I know he's in a meeting so I'm waiting to hear back but if I don't hear back soon I'm just gonna go down to the little like convenience shop or eat a protein bar that I brought with I know I'm like just talking about food because I'm hungry but anyways hello you guys welcome back to another video thank you so much for watching I'm so excited so I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we'll see what happens okay, so I'm done doing my hair I just got off my call and I'm gonna go run into either North End or Seaport to get um, some lunch and kind of like wander around maybe find a coffee shop to work at something like that so i'm really excited that i have to come back here and then take an hour long uber to an event tonight but it's all good um so it's gonna be fun i'm excited to go explore <laughs> I just got back from kind of going around North End and Seaport. So as you saw, I went to um, the high, high something food. Um, it's like a little food mall and it's basically like this common area that's connected to a building with a bunch of offices in it but it's really cool because they had tons of different types of food so I got a cannoli um I got a really good salad I got like a sweet potato salad and I also got an oyster just because I'm in Boston so I had to try some seafood hopefully I'll be able to try um some other like seafood stuff while I'm here either tonight or tomorrow um but I did that and then I walked over to Lululemon and Sephora I didn't buy Buy anything there just wasn't really anything that like stuck out to me I was gonna get the um, Laura Mercier's translucent setting powder I think I said that wrong anyways um but I didn't do that because 
the Sephora sale is going on and tomorrow is the day that um, the like first tier VIP you can um, get 10% off and I don't really buy enough from Sephora to be like one of the higher tiered ones so I'm on like the basic insider tier um, and that starts tomorrow so I was like I might as well wait because then I can get 10% off so I'll probably buy it online because I don't think I'm gonna have time to go back there tomorrow um, but I literally curled my hair before I left and this is what it looks like now because I have ridiculously straight hair um, naturally and so because it was windy and raining my hair completely um, flattened when I was walking because it was about like a 12 minute walk from where I was at in North End to Seaport. Um, so yeah, and then I went to the La Colombe, um coffee shop and I got a croissant so that I could eat that tomorrow for breakfast and I tried a little bit of it and it was so freaking good. Um, I know I should have gone to like a place that had like some authentic stuff, but honestly, it's like one of the best croissants I've ever had, so I'm not complaining. I'm very excited to eat the rest of it tomorrow for breakfast, and I also did get another coffee. I drank like half of it, and then I'm saving the other half for when I wake up in the morning, and then I bought like one of their cans of their cold brew, so I'm just gonna mix them so that I have coffee in the morning, um, and we will be ready. I have no idea what my plan is for tomorrow. I'm kind of trying to feel it out because the thing that sucks is I have a event at noon and then I think I'm gonna go to like a joint working spot or our office in Boston um, in between and then I have another event later at night tomorrow which I need to get that figured out because I'll need to bring a change of clothes um, with me if I'm going straight to the other event tomorrow night because the event tomorrow night versus the lunch event are two different vibes. The lunch event is a little bit more relaxed, so I'll need a change of clothes. But anyways, that is the plan. I really want to hit another like um, coffee shop or something tomorrow. Um, Seaport was nice, but it kind of reminds me of Chicago because it's very, I mean, I guess not all of Chicago is like new, but it kind of reminds me of the parts of Chicago that are new and I really want to go back to North End at some point tomorrow because then I'll be able to explore a little bit more but I have such a booked day tomorrow that I don't know if I'm going to be able to so we'll see what that entails. I'm going to recurl my hair and then I almost went like this but I'm charging my Apple Watch. I don't know what time it is. Okay it's 4. Um, I'm going to try to leave here by like 4.20. This event isn't until 6 but it's probably going to take me that freaking long to get there so hopefully I don't end up somehow getting there early because I don't want to have to sit there but we'll see um yeah I can't wait for my hour-long uber ride but there are worse things in the world okay I'm about to head out I have an all-black outfit on are we surprised absolutely not um we are going to an event tonight just to do some networking hopefully gonna get some dinner um it's like 4 20 right now and yeah okay you guys i am back i know i didn't vlog um at the event but because of it being a business event and it really like i literally went to a hotel conference room and went to a networking event so it wasn't anything crazy i had one glass of wine but i have to say it went so well i was able to meet so many people and i really think that it'll bring in some good business so I'm very excited about that, but now I am back to my hotel room and I am going to take my makeup off. Um, I'm going to get in some comfy clothes and I might sleep in a little tomorrow, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to do that because it's really not that late. It's 1030 right now. I normally go to bed at about 1030, 11. So if I'm asleep by like 1130, I might still get up at like 630 um, and go to the fitness center tomorrow. But the reason that I probably won't be asleep for another like hour, what is this? Oh, it's a string from my jacket um is because i have not eaten dinner so i'm gonna do that um when i got back our hotel restaurant was closed so they have like this little convenience center and i got a microwavable buddha bowl gotta love business trips so we're gonna get out of these clothes and take the makeup off eat some dinner and i will see you guys in the morning 
morning you guys it looks really dark in here um it's about 7 20 and i got up about 20 minutes ago and i'm getting ready to go to the gym at the hotel to work out i was debating on doing this but i just know that i'll feel so much better if i go so i'm gonna get up and do it um i'll probably get up and go again tomorrow morning too because i do have some time before my flight um and then I have to come back and do some work and then we have two events today so i'm gonna go get a workout in uh, i need to grab a water bottle and let's get this day started <laughs> Okay guys, I just got done getting ready. I went and got some continental breakfast this morning um, and I have just been working the last few hours. I love my outfit. I think that it's so cute. I'm very excited. I also got these new heels um, from Amazon. Sorry, that angle's really weird, but they're really good quality, so I'm hoping they don't hurt my feet. I will report back, but now I'm about to catch an Uber to the first event of the day, then we're gonna go to the office to do some work, and then I have the big event tonight that I'm so excited because it's the one that I planned and I just can't wait to actually see one of my events that I've planned come to life. Okay, so I'm in the car right now. We just got done working at Starbucks and there's so much stuff behind me. We have like a bunch of promo for this event. So we're just waiting. I have to wait in the car because we're technically not supposed to be parked here. So we needed to make sure that somebody was in the car um, while my boss ran in and is making sure that everything is good to go for the event. But I'm so excited. <laughs> happy friday i just went and got starbucks and this is literally reviving me so it's about 8 40 i actually made really good time i'm gonna get to work around 9 and then around 10 or 10 30 i'm gonna start packing so that i can catch the shuttle back to the airport by 11. this morning i woke up and i actually went to the gym i am very proud of myself because i was really highly debating it yesterday because i was in heels for 12 hours and my feet hurt um but i just went and got it over with i'm really glad that i did it because i feel like it helped me wake up one thing that i need to remember is next time i travel if i plan to work out while i travel i need to pack pre-workout because it makes such a difference because i take it every morning so i was literally like my eyes felt so heavy when i was working out even though i was like being active i was still so tired so i'm hoping that this coffee gives me a little something but then i walked to starbucks there's a starbucks like right around the corner from my hotel and now i have some breakfast in the room that i'm gonna eat and i'm gonna get to work but first i am going to do something with myself um i just need to like wash my face change my clothes um and get to work and then my flight takes off at like 12:50. So I should be landing around like two something. Um, so I'm hoping to be home around like five or six. Um, and then I'll be able to have a relaxing evening. So I'm going to go get ready and get to work. Okay guys, we are all packed and ready to head out. Very bittersweet, but I am so tired. I can't wait to be home. Mm -hmm. 